Did you know there is a website where you can type in your intention and it will show you herbs and crystals that correspond with this website is called pinecone pub when you click on the website it's going to take you to this page and this is where you are going to type in what you want to do so for some examples i typed in happiness here are all happiness herbs and crystals i typed in banishment banishment herbs and crystals this website is absolutely perfect for beginners who don't have the money to go and buy books or closet witches how i personally recommend using this website is type in your intention go and pick out a couple herbs it mentions and then go research those herbs individually to get more info on them double researching is called cross-referencing and this will help you learn even more about the herbs and ensure that the website is giving you correct info Topics that beginner witches should research. I get this question a lot, so I thought I'd make a video with some ideas of where to start researching. First, start with protection. Research how to cast a circle, protection in talismans, amulets, sigils, and warts. Research how to cleanse. I like to smoke cleanse. Research types of divination, such as tarot cards, pendulums, osteomancy, runes, and reading tea leaves. Research the history of witchcraft. Research the correspondences, such as herbal properties and what they do, color meaning, the moon phases and what each phase is good for. Research crystal properties, which crystals do what? What are they good for? These are great research topics for the building blocks of you starting to practice witchcraft. If you want more topics after this, let me know. Practical witch tip, if you are unable to smoke cleanse for whatever reason, you can use sounds and bells to cleanse. And I swear, every time I'm at Goodwill, I find no shortage of bells. Welcome to Shut the Fuck Up and Learn Some Witchcraft, where you shut up and learn some witchcraft. Today is lesson four, and we'll be going over protecting and cleansing. You can cleanse your space with a bell. You can cleanse your space with moon water in a bottle. You can cleanse your space with salt. You can cleanse your space by clapping in the four corners of your room. You can protect yourself by putting salt underneath your bed. You can protect yourself by lining your doors and windows with salt. You can protect yourself by putting obsidian, black tourmaline, and citrine underneath your bed. You can protect yourself by hanging herbs underneath your bed. I like to herb, I like to hang Rosemary underneath my bed. You can protect yourself by making sure all of your chairs have something on them when you go to sleep. You can protect yourself by covering all your mirrors when you go to sleep. You shut the fuck up, and then you learn some witchcraft. Good fucking job. This one isn't really a how the fuck do I do this. It's more like a what the fuck is that, you know? So let's talk about some baby witch tips. So I know when you first start, you're getting on Google, Pinterest, going to the library, going to the bookstores, and there's a lot of information everywhere. And they all say different things. And I know it's a little overwhelming and I know you're gonna wanna give up, but I promise you, if you don't give up, it'll be worth it. So number one, always start with protection. Seriously, always. I have a few videos down here on different types of protections you can do, but this is my favorite. And also the aesthetic is just perfect. Second, do not try and memorize everything. Using myself as an example, I started trying to read tarot cards, tried to memorize all of the cards. It was too overwhelming, so I gave up. Don't do that. You have a book of shadows for a reason. Fill her up. Third, 
you don't need to label yourself as any type of witch specifically unless you really want to if you do then go for it there's a bunch of different types of witches out there the green witch cosmic witch and crystal witches are my favorites and of course i'm an eclectic witch which means i pull from every type of witchcraft and every type of religion fourth question everything and everyone always we're not superheroes we can't know everything all the time don't be afraid to question people and last your intention is everything i know you hear us say it all the time but i don't know if anyone's ever explained it to you so you know when you were younger and you'd go up to your parents and be like hey can i go outside that's basically the same thing you're doing with intention except instead of asking your parents you're asking the universe and I'm 100% positive that your parents didn't just say yes without any sort of stipulations. They're usually like, hey, what are you gonna do for me in return? You gonna clean your room, finally? That's the same thing that happens with the universe. You can't just be setting your intentions and then sitting down waiting for something to happen. That's not how that works. You still have to put in the work. You're just kindly asking the universe to help you out a little bit. And this way it makes it more likely that your intentions will happen rather than just doing it and hoping for the best, you know? So I hope this helped a little bit. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments down below. I hope you have a wonderful day and remember that I love you. Which tips you need to know? Pins, nails, and sharp things are used in witchcraft to destroy negative energy. If you don't have sage or incense, you can burn onion or garlic skin to purify and protect. Mirrors amplify spells, making it more powerful. They can also be used in reversal magic.